is a horizontal bandsaw. So basically gonna give you a little tutorial on how it works. You open and close it like this. This is how you control everything. You can close the vise right here. As you spin it, it tightens. Turn it on, you pull this red lever up, and it the blade starts moving. And then to control the speed that the saw moves down on your piece, it's this little lever right here. And as you turn the lever, you control how fast the that looks up here. This is automatically lowering onto the part. So if you want to lower it fast, you can turn the lever fast. If you want it to barely move, you just barely turn it. So if you're cutting steel or something that's really hard, you probably want to cut it a little slower. Aluminum, you can cut it a little bit faster. So a cool feature of this machine is that once it gets down to the bottom of your of your uh, part and it cuts through your piece, it shuts itself off right there. Okay. Some important things to know when using the horizontal bandsaw, uh, the speed of the blade. So, for example, if you're cutting aluminum, you come over here, you look at the little chart, and you see that pulley 3 is for aluminum, brass, and plastic. So, you open up the pulley housing, and uh, the belt's on pulley 1 right now for stainless steel, so you have to move it to pulley 3 to cut aluminum. So the way to do that is this big red lever right here, pushing it down raises the uh, raises the wheel up and you could get slack. You can move it to pulley three. So you move both sides. There we go. Alright, and then you let it go, it tightens it up, and you close it and you're ready to cut aluminum. There's important it's really important how you fold your workpiece um, in the vise. So say you're cutting something that looks like this, you don't want to cut it like this. It puts a lot of like pressure on the blade. So there's another little chart right here that you can look at, and it shows proper way to hold your work in the vise. So with an L bracket shaped piece like this, you don't want to hold it like this. You want to hold it like this. So, I'm not going to cut the steel. I'm going to cut aluminum because we just set it to aluminum. So you raise this up. Turn this to the plastic. Alright. And then you can just put it back on. Put it in here. Close it and then tighten it with the wheel right here. It tightens the, the work piece. And then you always check to make sure that it is tight and it's not going anywhere. And then it's self-lubricating, but sometimes you can add more oil. Turn it on, and then slowly move the belt with the little lever right here. You can slowly move the blade down to the workpiece. And it's cut here, it's a great box. Introduction on what not to do. All right. So, starting with, actually, we're just going to go over how to not hold your part. So, right now we have aluminum in there. Going to loosen it up. So, if you're cutting something that's shaped like this, L-shaped, you don't want to put it in. Um, you don't want to put it in like this because it puts a lot of force on the on the blade right here and it dulls the blade really fast and you gotta buy a new blade. So, cut it, doot, cut it like this. Basically, just trying to put as much, 
as a large a surface area as possible. So that's basically how you cut that kind of thing. One last quick little thing. If your work piece is too big, say that big, you can't cut it because this will get in the way. So what you have to do is adjust the stock. Usually you want, you want it to be a little bit larger than your piece because it holds the blade uh, vertical. So what you do is you just loosen this knob, push it that way. Then you can tighten the knob and you're good to go.